Hi everyone, Amy Givitz here with the first in a series of four or five short little videos that hopefully will help you get your recruiter's dashboard set up. Today we're going to talk about getting our Google bookmarks installed to the uh, toolbar. I'm going to show you how to do that in Mozilla and then we'll jump over to Internet Explorer and we'll walk through doing the same thing in IE. So let's start by going over to our newly created iGoogle page and here you can see I've cleared off all of the uh, default gadgets and I've installed uh, Gmail and the first thing that we need to do is to locate our bookmarks file so I'm going to use this link that will take me to one of the resources pages for one of the recent workshops and I'm going to jump over to the toolkit and you'll see I've got a link here to download the bookmarks so once that's done you'll have the page here and all that remains is for us to save this now to our desktop and once that's done we'll go into bookmarks and go into organize bookmarks now whether you're doing this in Firefox or as I'm here in Wizzo or if you're using another one of the Mozilla based browsers like Flock perhaps these pages and this process is exactly the same we're going to go into this import option and we're going to import the HTML file from our desktop let's select it there and it really is as simple as that so now what we've done is we've successfully imported our bookmarks to the browser now we need to get these uploaded into our Google bookmarks so let's go to Google bookmarks and you'll see that we've got the option here to import Firefox bookmarks and here are all of the individual items checked off so that we can upload all of them now you'll notice that these aren't organized in folders and the reason being in Google we really don't have folders things are uh, labeled so the labels in this instance serve the exact same function as a folder might so you'll see when we import these when we go into the bookmarks we've got all of our bookmarks nicely organized in each one of these labels that function the same as folders and now all that remains for us to do is to get this installed to our iGoogle page but before we do that let's uh, jump over to Internet Explorer and I'll just walk you through the steps for getting that installed um, on that browser so let's jump over there now so here we are on Internet Explorer and the process for uploading our Google bookmarks should be pretty much the same as we just saw in Mozilla we'll go over to this button here and you'll see that we can import and export using this wizard so let's go ahead and import favorites and we'll go back to the file that we just used that's on our desktop and let's just import those directly into our favorites and it shouldn't take a moment to wind up and there it is and now we'll just see that all of our bookmarks have been nicely installed here onto Internet Explorer's favorite folder and so all we need to do is to come back into our Google bookmarks and import those and it really is as easy as that here are our bookmarks so now regardless of where we are as long as we've got access to the internet we can sign on to our account and get to our iGoogle page and also to our bookmarks so let's now jump over to the gadget directory and look for our bookmarks and what you'll find is oftentimes there are numerous entries for the same listing in that instance you want to go for Google's and preferably the one with the greatest number of users let's go and add that now and jump over to the home page and you'll see we've got our bookmarks installed we can come back here now and edit our settings and change this to a more manageable 10 bookmarks per page and now we've got access to all of our assets 
ranging from our prefabricated search strings all the way through to a variety of lookups and search engines and even tutorials. So we can click here and see our bookmarks from the desktop in this view or regardless of what page we're on we can always navigate to our bookmarks directly from our toolbar as you can see here. So that's basically it. Hopefully this has been helpful. I'll look forward to seeing you on our next tutorial and until then, happy googling. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.